Two deadly crashes happened hours apart, but Florida Highway Patrol believes they had one thing in common. Street racing may have played a part in both accidents. Tonight, we're hearing from a man who tried to save one of the victims and from a mother who knows what it's like to lose a son to street racing. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is live in the control room tonight. What's the latest on the investigation, Aaron? Yeah, Linda and Florida Highway Patrol says they just found one of the cars that they believe was involved in that crash on US 41. This was uh, believed to be connected to one of the drivers who just took off after that crash happened. But the finding of this car is little consolation to the two grieving families who lost loved ones. The video is jarring. A fiery pickup truck just split in half by a suspected street racer slides down US 41 Tuesday afternoon. Witnessing this crash in person. First thing I did is I ran straight there. Was so much worse for Kevin Davis. He co-owns the truck repair shop whose security camera recorded this video and he tried to help the driver. We grabbed all of our fire extinguishers we could to try to keep the fire at bay before the firefighters got here. Um, and uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get to the young man, pull him out of the vehicle. The driver was 26-year-old Brian Munoz, an innocent victim. His family was too upset to speak about losing their loved one, but shared this photo. Florida Highway Patrol says a pair of street racers caused the crash. Had to be going well over 100 miles an hour by the looks of it. One of the suspected racers survived after slamming into Munoz's car as he turned onto US 41. The other driver avoided the collision and didn't stop, but troopers say they tracked down the car Wednesday afternoon. A lot of people maybe feel like it won't happen to them or, you know, maybe they're, they're too good for an accident to happen, but just like today, it just takes a split second. And FHP says five hours later and 12 miles away, it happened again. Two cars crashed on I-75 near Apollo Beach, killing the passenger in a vehicle that investigators say was racing just before the accident. When I hear things like this, it's like a movie, a terrifying movie. Frances Simpson says it breaks her heart to know two more families are going through the same emotions she is still experiencing. Her son, 13-year-old Ethan Martin, was killed in January when he was hit by a motorcyclist who St. Pete police say was involved in a street race. I feel so sad, so sad, so many feelings. Um, I miss my son. My life is not the same. Simpson wonders what it will take to make street racers stop. They should be stopped because there's no funny. There's no funny losing someone. Yeah, and troopers say the charges are pending for the drivers involved in the street racing or the suspected street racing on the crash uh, that led to the crash on US 41. Anyone with information about either of these accidents should call Florida Highway Patrol. Linda. She's right. It's not funny. It's not fun. And, you know, innocent lives are lost. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Aaron.